What's going on everybody? In this episode, we're gonna talk about how we can get the values sent in the body of an API request. This is often used to provide some additional information for any request, usually used in a post request or some of these other methods. We have the ability to provide a body. And when we do this, there's different types that we can use. I'm going to go with raw and then select JSON. So we have the ability to provide JSON data to a request. So let's talk about what this might look like. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see a little better. We will provide an object and some values. Let's go ahead and say we have, uh, let's say it's a customer and they have a name, new customer, and then we'll have some industry for this customer and we'll just say technology or something. So we want to be able to send this to our backend and get these values on the back end. This will allow us to store that information in the database or do something with it. Before we move on to the back end code, I wanted to say a special thank you to our sponsor, File Stack. This is a fabulous tool for all kinds of cool image transformations, including image combinations and GIF creation. So if you have an image centric app or you just need to do anything with files or images, this could be the tool for you. I'll drop a link down below. So first off, we need to define where we want to send this data. We could just have this at the forward slash homepage with a post, but instead I think I'm going to have it for the API slash customers. So what I'll do is I will create a new endpoint here and say app.post. And inside of here, the path is going to be slash API slash customers. And then we'll provide a function here. And the function will have the request and the response as the parameter. And inside of here, what I want to do is I want to read the body. The way you'll often see this is with the request.body, and this will have that value. So what we could do, for example, is a console log request.body, and when we do this, we should see this not in the browser console, but the server console over here. So let's give this a save. The server restarts. We will also likely want to send some response. So we could send the same exact thing if we wanted. So basically just echo whatever they're saying. So we'll just say request.body. Okay, so let's save this. The server restarts. And now from Postman, make sure we're at localhost 3000 slash API slash customers. Confirm we are doing a post request and hit send. When we do this, you can see nothing shows up in the body response. Taking a look at the console, you will see the value undefined. So there's one more thing you need to do in order for this to work. Probably towards the top, we'll scroll up where we have express. We're going to do two more things with this app constant here. So we'll say app.use and we'll say express.json. And then the next line will be app.use and this line will have express.url encoded. And this will be a function call, a method call, so have parentheses. And it will take an argument, which is an object containing the extended property set to true. So that should do it. So save this. And now we will need to restart our server. So we'll say npm run start. We got our server running and now let's head over to Postman. From here, we will hit send. And now you can see that value in the body. Additionally, this should show up in the console. You can see that object displayed here. So what exactly are these lines doing? I don't know all of the details, but we're basically adding middleware, which will be able to parse that data passed in through the body. So this will basically affect all of the requests coming in. So if for any reason you're building applications in the future, you're getting an undefined body, it very well could be this problem. So make sure you put that option in your head and come back to this video if that ever happens. So we've been working on this code, but we're not really using any real data. Even up here, we have this mock data here and the data that we're passing to this body, this API endpoint through the body, is just being logged and then sent back to the client. Nothing too useful. So what I wanna talk about now is how we can actually persist this data in a database. That will allow this application to have memory and we'll be able to add customers, view customers, delete customers, update customers, whatever we want to build in this application. So we're going to get started in the next video with setting up MongoDB. I'm super stoked, I hope you are as well. I'll see you in the next one and peace out.